There's several ways you can open up a file to view it. The most common is to just double click on the file. So here's a, a web page. It has a HTML extension. And if I just double click on it, you can see it opens up the Internet Explorer browser and displays the page. Now, you may not always want Internet Explorer to open up your files. So what you can do is you can right mouse click on the files and you can say open with. And then you have several different options. So if I want Firefox to open up and view this, then I'll just click on the Firefox. And there you can see it display the page in Firefox. Another way I can start a program is by going to the Start menu and looking for the program. So let's say I want Google Chrome. Here I can see Google Chrome. Now, I can click and drag this to put it out of my desktop or down on my quick start bar, or I can just click on it. There's my Google Chrome. Now, to open up the file, I'm going to do a Control O for open, and that's going to take me to my Windows Explorer and I can choose the file I want to see. I can also run Google Chrome and simply drag the file simply drag the file to Google and it'll display it. You can see how quick that is. Oftentimes you want to view a file like a web page and you want to view it in another application. So I can right mouse click on the file, I can say open with, and then I can choose another application. Here's an, a notepad editor. So I can edit my code as well as view it. So I can edit it in notepad plus plus. I can come over here do a control, control R, and you can see it, it finishes off. So again, when I'm in my browser, I can do a control O to open up a new file, or I can right mouse click on the file and open with and pick the application I want to use. This gives you all the control you need, so you can decide which application you want to view the file as well as edit the file.